Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at a clock. What do you like better, that? How's that? I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. P-Pow Picks Edition. Yes, that's right. P-Pow Picks. We do them daily. Give you picks daily. Well, five daily. Five days daily. I give you daily, though, on my Patreon, though. If you go over there, I'll put it in the link in the bio. Slamming it. Sunday, 27 units up. Woo! Yesterday, 10 units down. Woo! <laughs> Today, we're about even. We're going to look at that. We're going to look at our picks. For today, we're going to see what what mistakes we might away, what can we can learn. This is a great thing about capping is, I find anyways, is uh, we get to uh, we get to learn every day and how to grow as coppers and become better at it, right? Yeah, but uh, you know what's cool? My Look at, do you hear that? The audio, I fixed the audio. I had some weird stuff going on. I don't know what happened. Tell me if it goes back to the way it was again, but I think I finally got it figured out. It was cray cray, but we got her done. Hit the subscribe and the bell. I'm hitting, we have so many subscribers, it's crazy. You know what I did? I got Helen a friend. Her name is Louise. Louise and Helen now are stitching and sewing together your Pearls of Wisdom necklaces that I give you when you hit the subscribe button right now. We're getting to a thousand, yo. We are going to hit a grand. We're flying that way. And you're going to help out by touching that subscribe button. We hit a grand and there is going to be such frolic in the land. It's going to be amazing. I will be doing the pro dance like you have never seen. Actually, you have. You've seen lots of it. Because I do it all the time. Right in time. As soon as I wake up in the morning. As soon as you wake up in the morning, try it. Wake up in the morning, like just be lying there, just get right up like that. If you have a partner, look right over to them. They love it. <laughs> I promise. Okay then. Um, so yeah, like I said, we're about even, something like that. We'll look at it. I haven't really calculated it all out, but we'll look at yesterday's picks. We hit some really good ones though. And came really close on other ones. And uh, I'm going to talk about one in particular that really, really made me angry. I, I shouldn't even count it because I would not have played it if I, and I advise anybody that's in my, uh, that is a client of mine to never play a play like this. And I'll, I'll talk about why and how and what happened when we do the picks. But I know we have lots of you that don't have time for all of that nonsense. You just want to get straight to it. I don't blame you. I'm, I'm not the most patient guy in the world either. I have lots of time though. Tons of time. Got to get my, it's hard to get my five, six naps in a day sometimes, but I usually pull it off. Usually do. Okay, here we go. Picks. I recommend five, six naps a day, by the way. Don't let the doctors tell you otherwise. They're wrong. Look at, look at this face. See, this is how you can this is, this is how you get this right here. Get your uh, protractors out and your rulers and erasers and liquid ink. Liquid, the liquid ink. That, and that one that goes wee, 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 wee. That's my favorite one. Just get that out for that. Just do that. Wee, wee, wee. Come on. Do it. Come on. Are you really... The goat, John. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Elliot, good for you. Excellent job, Elliot. See, some people have a little bit of hootspah. All right, let's go to uh, the picks. Wild money line over five and a half. Canadians in reg under five and a half. Jets money line over five and a half. Avalanche money line over five and a half. Vegas money line under five and a half. And Sharks money line under five and a half. And we'll be talking quite a bit about that game when we talk about these games. So what we're going to do, those are your picks. Go off with you. 
if you need to go, just exit to the right there. Just pick, pick up all your protractors and stuff on your way out. I'm tired of picking up after you, all right? Okay. Okay, you have you have a good day, friends. Off with you doing saving lives and whatever it is that you do. Okay, let's go to our picks from today. Today, today, yes, here we are. Here's today. Today, today being the 13th. We're going to do, okay, this is, okay, we'll do the first one. The first one's here. This is the one that pissed me off. And this is the one that I'm going to say I lost, but I didn't really lose. Because no way am I putting a bet down without knowing who's in net when it comes to the Tampa Bay Lightning. No way. Cooper likes to throw out these, and this is what he did. He put McElhaney in in the last second against a hard-working Nashville Predators team with sorrows. I'm ma I'm angry because I would have been all over that bet if I would have known McElhaney was in. I would have taken Nashville all day long and the over. What did I take? Lightning, ML, and the under because I thought Vasilevsky was going to be in. And I was giving the Lightning the benefit of the doubt of getting Savard that he would get in Savard on defense. If you don't know, they got Savard from the Columbus Blue Jackets, a very good defensive defenseman. I thought that they would appreciate that and play their bag off, which they may have. I didn't watch much of this game. I don't know. But McElhaney is so bad this year. By the way, why didn't they get a backup? Like, there's no backups they could have got out there. McElhaney has been terrible. He's the end of his career. Anyways my little rant for the day so in theory I'm down four units on that play but actually I would never have touched that so I wanted to put that in there okay under I had the Dallas Stars wasn't sure about this game uh, stars for a unit but the under for medium so for two pearls so nobody bet that right so we're not going to, I'm going to cancel that. Nobody bet that. I hope not. Hope none of my patrons bet that because they wouldn't have been paying attention all this time. Okay. Anyways, so we'd be up about three quarters of a unit, 0.8. Bruins, this, we're down here. We had Bruins in regulation and uh, that was they, they, what was it? Like 40 seconds left. They couldn't hold off against the Sabres. Would have been a really good day. Only would have made, like, it was in very good juice. But it should have been a sure thing. Anyways, we also had the over. So we're down, we're down two and a half units. But here, here, my friends, with the Capitals and Flyers, this was our bet of the night. And uh, I even went light on. I should have went, I wanted to go PL. I didn't, I like to go safe. And I went in regulation. But it was for basically double money. It was for two, 2.00 .00 Canadian decimal system. Hope you know that. Uh, that gave us six, or sorry, 10 units. No, five units. Five units. And we had the over, which was almost also almost uh, double two. Might as well call it a double. Eight units. So we're down five and a half. Then... Or up five and a half, sorry. Then, actually, you know what? I didn't break even. I did very good here. Jeez. All those people that left think I just broke even. I think I did really well here. Five and a half. Then the Rangers Devils. Uh, we had the Rangers in regulation for three. So now we're up eight and a half. We had the over. So we're down to seven and a half. And then the Flames. Man, we're up. Should I do this video again? Nah. We'll just don't worry about it. I'll I'll just tell everybody tomorrow that took off and couldn't spend time with us connecting. By the way, thank you for being in the chat. Now I see a lot of people are chatting and talking to me, helping me out, telling me that the audio wasn't working. Mikey and if I'm sorry, the other fellow, I should have wrote it down. Uh, I think it was Flyers, Joe Flyers. Thank you very much for that, and I'd love to hear what your picks were. What you think out there. Don't think I know everything. I don't by any stretch. And I learned what I did know from talking to great coppers like you. Which, 
you can do from 3 to 5 Eastern, five days a week, Monday to Friday, on my show, The Pearl of Wisdom Show, NHL show, here on this channel, where we do picks and you get points and all of that kind of stuff like that, and it's a blast, and we just talk hockey. It's so much fun. I had the Flames PL for a unit. Oh, that's right, and I had the over for a unit. So that was pretty much a wash, but we're up. So we're up, what, six, seven units? And yesterday we were down 10. So we're down three for the week. We'll, we'll pick it back up. We're going to freaking pick that up. We're going to nail this, man. Nail it. You watch. Let's go. Let's go to your picks for tomorrow. Okay, Arizona, Minnesota. Um, I'm a little bit funky on this, but I found out that uh, Fiala's going to be back. I almost, if I almost want to go with the spread and take Arizona here because Minnesota just took two losses to St. Louis. I'm going to bank here that Dean Evison, the coach of the Minnesota Wild, is going to pick these guys up and have them back on their feet again, rushing for the finish line here. However, um, the there was no additions of general manager support with new players coming into the Minnesota lineup. In this case, though, I think that is actually a boost to this Minnesota team. This is a very young team uh, like uh, uh, Eck and uh, Fiala that I just mentioned, uh, Corpus or not Corpus Alla, Caprizov, Greenway. All of these guys are young guys, and bringing in veterans to kind of supplant their position on the team might have hurt this team morale wise more. This might I think this might actually have been a boost not to add to this team than to add, believe it or not. So I'm gonna go with Minnesota here. I'm gonna say Minnesota, but I'm only going money line right now. I want to see some pushback out of this Minnesota team. Arizona's gonna come out working hard. They always do. Always. If you don't come out working hard against Arizona, they can bite you. The thing is Aiden Hill has been Solid, but not great. Not super, like, he's not Kemper, that's for sure. He's good. He looks like he's going to be a good backup. He's been playing a lot, and Talbot's going in. The Minnesota just got some rest. Time to practice, get back on their game again. So I'm going to say Minnesota, but I'm only going to go ML, and I don't know if I'm going to go how much I'm going to put on it yet. But I am going to go Minnesota on here, and I am going to go over. There is a there is a trend that says that when Minnesota Arizona plays Minnesota on the road or Minnesota plays Arizona at home, they've been under an awful lot. And I tried to figure out why that might be. And I think it's because they've had Kemper in net almost every time they played. With Hill in net and the type of game that Arizona's been going over a lot lately, I think this will be over five and a half. Calgary versus Montreal. Um, Calgary, we just took that win from Calgary against Toronto. Toronto being on a back-to-back. -back. Reverse now, Calgary's on the back-to-back. -back. They went in overtime last night and then had to travel to Montreal. Not much of a travel, but still get, get done, get changed, get washed up, head to the plane, move over, get over to where you are, get situated in your hotel room, all of that kind of stuff like that. Where Montreal sitting back on, we just got some players. Our general manager just gave us a boat of confidence, bringing in some depth to our D line, and uh, you know we're feeling really good. I think Montreal takes this game. Uh, Allen versus I am not. I've not been impressed with Markstrom this year. I think Calgary will make a go of it, but I'm actually even thinking about taking Montreal in regulation here. I have it ML right now, but I'm possibly considering in regulation. I like the way they've been playing lately, and this is a tired Calgary team that I think gave a lot of it up to Toronto last night. So, Winnipeg versus Ottawa. Can Winnipeg really drop the ball twice? I don't think so. I think the last win uh, with Winnipeg, the last loss 
was at a time when there was a lot of turmoil because the trade deadline was coming up and a lot of things, a little uneasiness. It's over. They can take a breath and just play their game now. Ottawa, um, I don't know. I think, are they going to go back to For Forsberg's been playing really well for them. Winnipeg should have Hollebuck in here. I can't see Winnipeg losing to Ottawa twice in a row. I just can't. I'm taking Winnipeg. I have ML down here. I don't know if I'm going to play safe on this. I might go in reg by tomorrow. I'm going to do my ohms meditation. Ohm. I don't know what that does, but apparently it does something. So I do it. I see, I see my wife doing it all the time, so I thought I'd try it. Anyways. Okay. Um, yeah. Winnipeg in regulation. And, oh, yes. We're doing totals here too, aren't we? Oh, the Calgary-Montreal game. I'm going to go under. I don't think Calgary's going to have enough legs to score enough against Montreal, maybe. Hey, what did I say? No, Calgary's going to be tired. They're probably going to take penalties. I did have Canadians in reg. Okay, Canadians in reg. And I did have under five and a half. I have under five and a half because I don't think Calgary's got enough legs to score on Montreal. I think this is going to be like 3-0, 3-1, 4-1, something like that. Uh, what's the total on this sucker? Six. Um, I think that's under. I, I just don't see Ottawa being able to score enough to put that to and over. I, I think you're going to see a totally different game than last game. Um, I'm, I'm going to the under on that one. No, I'm going... Oh, no, that's because the line moved. It was five and a half. That's right. The line has moved on this. All right. Yeah, I'm still... I'm going under. Colorado versus St. Louis. Oddly enough... I'm not a fan of this game. Um, I think St. Louis could take this. I, I, I'm going to have to give this a lot of thought. They are on a roll right now. But Colorado is slamming, too, at the same time. This is going to be a humdinger of a game. Really going to be a solid game. I believe Bennington is in a zone right now. Grubauer is playing fantastic. This is for a lot of, for St. Louis, this is a huge game. I think this is going to be really close. I could go St. Louis on the PL here. However, if Colorado plays to a T their game, they can beat the crap out of anybody right now. I think I had Colorado. I'm going to call, take Colorado, but only on the money line. I wouldn't go more than that. And I may change that. These are really tough to do. Some of these games are really tough. Uh, Los Angeles, I'm going back to Vegas here. Los Angeles has given them everything they got. Um, if they get some defensemen back off the injured, if they got some, they would be okay. It's not like, it's just they're have, they don't have the defense right now because they're injured. Um, and that's really what's killing them. Bjornford and Wall, those two guys are big off of their defense right now. And they're still not going to be in. Vegas, I, I feel like Vegas smells blood when they play L.A. right now. They know that if they can get them into a fast game, Vegas can beat them. So I'm taking Vegas, and I'm only taking a money line right now. I'm just a little unsure about a lot of these games because – it's after the trade deadline. Now, I should think, what did Vegas do? Oh, yeah, they got Yarncroft, didn't they? Or not, yeah, they got uh, Yanmark. Yanmark won't be playing, but it's going to give them a big boost. Yeah, Vegas ML, I may go in reg on that. San Jose Anaheim, I want to fade. I am so mad at San Jose for losing the last one. Pathetic. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I didn't do that. Um... I'm going to do that before tomorrow's game. We're going to send the Perlocopter down. Hernandez and Melissa will go down there. We're grabbing all the San Jose Sharks, especially Burns, especially all their defense. The first period of the last game where they lost 4 nothing was the worst defense I have seen all year by any team, including my Philadelphia Flyers. Absolutely disgusting. 
I can't see San Jose playing that bad again. On paper, they should destroy this team. Destroy. They obviously were on vacation against Anaheim. They must have partied the night before. I don't know. It was pathetic. I see a better effort here. I'm taking San Jose money line, though. I had them on the puck line. I had it over. I had all of everything, like, going to destroy Anaheim. And they should have. San Jose just, uh, anyways, I won't get on to it. It was, it was terrible. But anyways, that's what I'm taking, boys and girls. That's my full 42. That's all I got to give to you today, boys and girls. Hope you're enjoying the fine new audio. Uh, if you do, give me a, give me a up in the chat. Uh, get your friends. Bring your friends. Let's talk hockey down there. Come to my show tomorrow, 3 to 5. Steel Flyers All Sports Network. Check it out online. Just www.steelflyers.com. Peyton on the radio. Go to He's got amazing stuff. John from Off the Wall Hockey does some of the best play-by-play -play you'll ever find. John Off the Wall Hockey. Professor Joe Boric in Sports Fanatic News. These are all part of the Steel Flyers Network. Uh, he is a genius sports mind. He has his own channel. Go subscribe to that. And Slapshot Sweethearts, uh, um, Hockey Writers, Inc. Slapshot Sweethearts, they are amazing. Awesome. Go check them out. Have a great day, everybody, and thank you very much for supporting this fine programming. You're awesome. Lots of love to you. Okay. Oh, that's my full 42. I almost forgot to say that. Okay, bye.